We're with Ruth and David Thomas talking about Exmoor ponies and thinking more specifically of the, the management of them because I appreciate they do live out on Exmoor and pretty much look after themselves. But if you had an Exmoor pony, how, how would you look after it? Well, Exmoors um, are perfectly all right living out of doors uh, without protection, um, except that in the winter they do get wet and muddy and if you're wanting to ride and show them over the winter you may well want to have them rugged up in order to keep them clean as much as anything they don't actually need it from the point of view of protection um, they would be perfectly happy without rugs and things um, in terms of what they eat do you have to be careful what you feed them? Are they quite good doers, or do they you know, lose condition? No, they're they're good doers. Um, we like them to be fairly well covered going into the winter, because they will lose a bit over the winter, as there's not as much grazing available, not as much grass growing over the winter. Um, but uh, they they will survive all right. Again, it depends what you want to be doing with them especially over the winter months. Um, but they, they, will, they will survive on fairly poor, rough grazing. Um, they're quite useful for that, from that point of view in that they, they um, don't want rich pasture. In fact, rich pasture might result in problems like laminitis. Um, so the poorer the ground, the better in one sense. Um, you may have to supplement, depending the vi on the vi availability of pasture over the winter, you may want to supplement with hay or a little bit of hard feed, but they really don't need much hard feed. Um, the feed is, is more to help with, with handling and, and getting them um, more amenable for, for using in later life. We feed our foals a little bit when we wean them so that they, they come to hand better then. No, the amount of winter feeding they require depends on the grazing available. But uh, it, it's, it's, uh, it depends on the, ex or the extent of you have. If you have a large area, then they need very little feed at all. And if you've got a bit of mo open mountain and moorland you can put them on then you can forget about feeding them altogether. Yes, the, most of them, well they, they live out all, all their days. We have some fairly ancient ones here and they, they sometimes have a rug on in the winter just to help, th help things along. But, uh, they, they and they get a bit of feed in morning and night as well, the very old ones. But her oldest one is 36. Serves a bit of a <laughs> <tender> <laughs> <volunteer> <laughs> <at her> Absolutely, <laughs> definitely. 